In the previous video, we took a look at the presets panel. Let's now talk about snapshots, which is the last panel on the right. So if we click on snapshots, once again, you'll notice there isn't any snapshots listed currently. So what you want to do is you want to go and actually create a snapshot by clicking on the little uh, create snapshot icon. We want to give it a name. So for this example, I'm going to call it snapshot uh, standard. Go OK. Now I'm going to go back to uh, some of my settings. I'm going to make some color balance adjustments. I'm going to make some adju uh, exposure adjustments just to sort of make it obvious that the image itself has actually changed. Maybe add a bit more saturation just to make it look quite hideous. Um, add a bit more magenta. So there we go. So that's quite an obvious change to the image itself. I'm going to go back to snapshots and I'm going to save that. So this is going to be, uh, let's call it snapshot, um, snapshot. colored standard uh, and click OK. So what you'll notice now is if we jump between the two different snapshots you can see the difference in the actual adjustments to the images so you can swap between the two. Now snapshots is an individual preset or adjustment to an image. Um, so the adjustments that we have here with these snapshots that we've created cannot be used for another image. So if I go done, for example, and let's go back to use this example once again, double click on that, and now we go to the snapshots panel in uh, this particular image, you'll notice there are no snapshots here. And that's because the snapshots I created on the last image are specifically for that image. It's not like presets where presets is a global correction where you can actually go and apply those presets to any other images that you ever open up in Camera Raw, it doesn't work like that. It's an individual correction specifically for the image that you're working on at the time. So it is quite useful for seeing the progression of your editing workflow and to be able to jump back in sort of a, uh, a history that you've created yourself by, by creating those individual snapshots as you work through your image. Uh, especially when you've actually made large adjustments to your image, it's really useful to be able to jump back through all those different stages and actually see how far your adjustments have actually gone. Because sometimes you can really um, blow out certain aspects of your image that you just don't notice when you're actually making those edits until you look at the original file and, and actually compare the two to see what you've actually done. So in that respect, it is quite useful.